It's like packing a helicopter, eh? <laughs> Better get my release, eh? Yeah. I've done that before. <laughs> <clears throat> my name's Jeff Eno. I'm from the Yukon Territory. I'm down here uh, hunting black bears uh, with Rob Brown, Talpa River Outfitters. Like I was saying last night, it would be archery if, if everything lines up type of thing. I haven't, I haven't been shooting a whole lot this spring, so. Well, we've been looking for uh, a place to hunt black bears, big black bears, for a few years now. I've hunted with Rob Brown uh, several times in the past for white-tailed deer in Alberta. I got talking to Rob about a year, maybe two years ago, about black bear hunting, asking his opinion on where the big bears are, and it led us uh, here to uh, Telco River. My name is Robert Brown. I uh, operate Telco River Outfitters in Smithers, British Columbia. We're looking for people that have hunted, obviously, in the past and done some outfitted hunts that are just looking for a better tailored service. Um, come enjoy the wilderness and the beauty of Smithers, what it has to offer. These mountains here, they're beautiful. They're you know, beautiful jagged peaks and coastal ranges that, uh, that are sort of unique to our territory. All of our black bear hunts, they're ran spot and stock style. Um, generally, you're going to wake up in the morning, later morning, you'll have a late, uh, late breakfast, early lunch, and then you head out the door. Overall, the spot and stock is probably the most entertaining for us and the people that work for us. Um, the baited hunts, I mean, they're not for everyone. Some people love them, some people don't. We, we love that, you know, in the middle of nature, traveling, it's, it's not you're stuck over one place for 10 hours a day for six days straight. We like to be mobile and active and, and seeing some of the country. I, yeah, I really do like spot and stock hunting better. It's, uh, it's again, a little more dynamic, a little more action. Uh, there's a little more excitement with that style of hunting. I mean, I've done baited hunts before and, and they're effective, they work well, but standing in a, in a stand for a few hours, swatting mosquitoes is not nearly as fun as being out here and actually lo looking over bears, trying to get close. Uh, true free-range spot and stock hunting is the way to do it. When you're face-to-face -face with these big boars, it's, it's actually one of the most surreal experiences. It's, uh, it's something that's probably not for everyone, but we love it. I've heard from friends, uh, hunting buddies who've been through this area before, that it's rugged country um, and that there's big bears. The area is known as for having big bears and uh, that's what got me interested in hunting here. For our black bear hunts, all of our black bear hunts are an eight-day hunt and we typically like to choose you know the clients that are looking for that bigger bear we we definitely can take any client but there's a unique service that we offer for the clients that have been on bear hunts and are typically looking for that that higher class bear you know an upgrade and it's a very small unique service that's just there to target big bears well you know for me i mean i'm not so much a, a boone and crockett type guy i just like big big animals you know a seven foot plus black bear has been something i've wanted to hunt for a long, long time. And uh, there's very few places actually where you can actually do that. And uh, this is definitely one of those places where you can get it done. I got pretty close there, but uh, he's a bit small. I mean, he's not terrible, Jeff. What do you think? You've seen him. Yeah, he, I mean, he's, I'd say for here, he's kind of an average. He's not a big, um, up home, at home in the Yukon, he'd be a decent bear. Yeah, I just yeah. don't think he's what we're looking for here. I think if we're, if we're truly looking to take the caliber of bear that's here, we got to let him live, right? Yeah, you betcha. Well? He'll be a good bear one day. One day? Yeah. It just means you need to buy another ticket. <laughs> I got to know Rob a few years ago, uh, hunting Alberta, white-tailed deer with him. Um, he's an extremely passionate guide outfitter. Um, he's not your, he doesn't run a cookie cutter camp operation. If you're hunting with Rob, it's all about quality, big animals and a good experience. Um, and he's just very, very dedicated to his craft. One thing that we've all experienced is that, that need for an outfit that is more personalized to you. It's very common to get the cookie cutter industry style where you come in and you get the same bear hunt broadcasted over 14 to 15 different people. The variance in guides and talent is, is structured sort of imbalanced. And, and we want to flatline that. And the secret to that is, is going smaller, but really offer a unique service um, stipulated on you. The atmosphere here is uh, it's very laid back. It's tailored to the hunters, to the clients. Uh, you're not just a, a number with the, these guys, you're not just another guy coming in and leaving at the end of your hunt. 
You know, you're, you really feel like you're being looked after. I think myself, I'm a little more low maintenance than a lot of hunters out there. I, I don't need a whole lot. But having said that, I mean, you want some guides and outfitters that are dedicated, you know, hardworking, know the area, they're experienced. I just like a good solid team to go hunting with. Mm. I'm happy with that. And uh, you, you really feel like you're not just a client here, but you're part of a hunting party, part of the team. It's been a long day. It's a good thing we got the old, let's thank our, our sponsor, 7-Eleven Chicken Wings. Day and night, it says right there, it's the first time I've ever had them in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. Never again. <laughs> Never again. Jeff is a hunter, you know, we, as guides we get to meet um, different folks from all walks of life and at the end of the day when you meet a guy like Jeff, it doesn't matter whether you're a client in camp sharing the camp with him or you're another guide that's just along for the ride with him, it's, it's a pretty unique experience and he's a very easy, you know, happy-go-lucky kind of guy and it's super easy to work with them, super easy to book them <laughs> and super easy to uh, take them hunting. And at the end of the day, just he's a hunter, he's the real deal and and uh, he's not looking for anything oversold. He wants a good, honest effort. And, and from there, all it is is laughs and smiles. And it's, it's something that you can learn to appreciate as you grow older in this industry. Okay, well, we were out hunting. It was on uh, day one of the hunt. And uh, we weren't seeing a lot of game. It was, the weather wasn't great. It was raining, overcast, a little cold. And uh, we got to the, as far as Rob wanted to take us that night. And we turned around and I don't think it was a kilometer after that, we came up over a rise in the road and bam. We were coming back out um, just like we had discussed and we ended up uh, <laughs> coming around the corner, we were face to face staring them straight in the eye. It was, a, it was an absolute, uh, what we like to call a no brainer. There was a monster bear just standing broadside, maybe 15 yards from the truck. He ran off, luckily for us, he didn't quite make it to the bush line. Okay, that's his white spot, that's the head. Yeah. In the branches, in the green branches should be right. Yeah, okay. Right on. Oh, one down. <laughs> oh, holy Jesus. Man. That's a really nice bear, man. He's good Beautiful. for you. Beautiful, big white Th crest That's what on. we were talking about earlier today. <sighs> We I mean, had him at 10 yards. I know. We know what he was, oh, eh? Geez. I don't know how my, uh... anyway, that was awesome. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Right on, brother. Oh. <laughs> what happened? Well, we just, uh, we just got on a nice bear and it all happened a little quick. I'm still trying to process it a little bit, but uh, I think we got him. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. He goes from about zero to 60 and it's probably the fastest time I've seen it yet. Yeah, no kidding. That was man. quick. That was absolutely awesome. But you get it done when you've got a bear like that. Well, you're damn right. <laughs> and you know something like he would have been in that bush and gone. Yeah. Gone. Never look, to be seen look, again. look how thick it is down there. No, you did well with what you had, so well, sometimes you just got to play the hand you're dealt. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh put this away and go have a look at this guy. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> you know, for for a guy as lucky as he is, I wasn't surprised on the first day when we stumbled into that bear. Um, you know, we, we'd seen the sign and we were fairly confident on our way out that, you know, something was going to materialize out of this and, and we were pretty sure that it was going to be something good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a stomper. I couldn't believe the size of it. I mean, I've done a lot of bear hunting. I'm lucky I can do it at home every year. And uh, bears have a habit of shrinking when you walk up to them, um, more so, I think, than any other animal. And when we walked up to this bear, he grew and grew and grew. Holy look at smoke. Look at the size of this bear, wow. dude. <laughs> Holy man, man alive. Good for you. This is as real as they look at the coat. Man, he's perfect. You couldn't paint him better. He's perfect. Absolutely perfect in every way. This is a 400 pound bear, dude. Like, you get him out of this hole, he's a 350, 400 pound bear. That's a seven foot bear. Yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> it turned out to be an outstanding bear. It's one of the biggest bears we've seen, but uh, it was, you know, good confirmation that this area is exactly what we thought it was and, and that we could offer this to people like Jeff that are looking for bigger and better. And it happened to be my biggest bear I've ever taken. And uh, it was just, a an exceptionally big bear, great fur, great color, 
and he was about the biggest black bear I think I've ever laid eyes on, certainly the biggest one I've ever had my hands on. And uh, it happened so fast, but that's how it can happen here. We're happy that uh, Jeff was ecstatic and, and got his trophy of a lifetime, that's for sure, because that's what we're here to do. Right on. Well, let's get to her. Okay, sounds good. <laughs>